Finally, there is something to be excited here in PowerPoint. PowerPoint is extending the capabilities of the morph transition. Now, how exactly are those capabilities being extended? We had the normal article about morph, and right now we have a new article, morph transition tips and tricks. The tip and trick here is that if we have two shapes, photos or anything, if we do two exclamation marks in its name, PowerPoint will try to smoothly fade between those objects when it's morphing from one slide to another. This will make much more sense if we are working in PowerPoint. Just a few key takeaways from this article is we can force different shapes to be morphed into each other. We can force two images to morph. So really a lot of cool things we, we can do. Let me show this on an example. I take any picture I see. I just uh, copy the graphic and I go right back into PowerPoint. So let me show you. I'm having a picture like that. And on the next slide, I'm copying another picture. So we have a picture like that. Normally, if we have those two pictures, we go to transitions, we click on morph. PowerPoint doesn't know that, uh, that I want to smoothly morph between those objects. So PowerPoint simply fades in and fades off the new object. That's the best he could do until now. But currently, we can go to home, either to arrange and open the selection pane, or just select an open selection pane and watch that. We have picture number four. If we do two exclamation marks, and I call it now pic picture one, for example, then I go to the next slide and I give it the exact same name. This is very important. I have to, again, go two exclamation marks, picture one, watch what happens. If we go to transitions and we now morph, you see what happens? It tries to smoothly morph between this object. That's amazing. I made a couple of examples here. For example, I created a blob. It's now hidden away here and a shapey. So this is shapey and this is blob with two exclamation marks. And again, blob and shapey. Those are two different shape. Well, PowerPoint won't be able to like perfectly smoothly morph shapes that have two holes in it, but watch the difference. Without exclamation marks, it simply disappears and appears. But with given exclamation marks, it smoothly transitions from one object to another. So that's perfect. What's even better is if we create like a triangle. Then we go to a new slide and we create another shape. Let's, let's do something very difficult. I'm not sure that PowerPoint will exactly handle this because we have many edit points here. But if I make exclamation mark, exclamation mark, and call it, for example, mark, I go back here and I do the same with this triangle mark. When using morph, it will try to perfectly transform into this new shape. And what's more important, this is a very difficult shape to transform. Look at that. We have 12 or even more points here or 10 points we have so many points here and on this triangle if we right click and select edit points we have only three points so powerpoint had to mathematically estimate where to put those points to make this transition and blend perfect thank you very much for listening and i hope you like this little update on the morph feature